Hey everyone! Thank you for all your support on the last video. It was the best birthday present I could have asked for. Today I will be showing you how to find the elusive secure flash drive. The flash drive is a single slot electronic item that can be found on many different maps. Currently, flash drives go for around 55,000 rubles on the flea market, which is great for a single slot item. However, near the beginning of the wipe they can go for nearly 130,000 rubles, making the flash drive an extremely lucrative item. Additionally, flash drives weigh nearly nothing, making their price to weight value incredibly high. Flash drives are used for the secure quest What's on the Flash Drive, which requires two drives, as well as Jaeger's quest Shady Business. However, only Jaeger's drives need to be found in raid. Additionally, the intelligence center within the hideout requires three flash drives in order to be upgraded to level 2. After upgrading to level 2, the intelligence center allows you to craft three flash drives for the price of one G Phone, one G Phone X, and one SSD. Even though it takes 34 hours to craft, it could potentially be worth 300,000 rubles near the beginning of the wipe. However, as the wipe ages, expect a more feasible return of 150,000 in revenue. This could potentially make the craft unprofitable. Additionally, at Intelligence Center level 3, three flash drives can be used to craft a single folder with intelligence. As I said in my previous video, this craft is not worth it, especially at the beginning of the wipe. If you'd like to learn more about intelligence spawns, you should take a look at the video in the upper right hand corner. So let's get into where you can find flash drives. The main maps we will be focusing on today include Interchange and Reserve Military Base. However, I will mention the singular spawn situated on Woods. The spawn is located on the east side of the lake. In order to tell which side of the map you are on, look at the lumber mill in comparison to the lake. If it is on the left side, you are on the spawn side. If the mill is on the right side, you are on the opposite side of the lake from the spawn. On a side note, be careful around the lumber mill because of the scav boss Sturman. He can spawn within it and mess up your day extremely quickly. Starting on the east side of the lumber mill next to the alcove rocks, head directly to the right. Eventually, you should run into a singular tent. The spawn is located at the entrance of the tent, situated on top of the cloth. Be aware that this area is known to spawn more than one flash drive at a time. Moving on to the map, Reserve. Flash drive spawns are different on Reserve. Instead of being a single area like Woods, every computer entity has a chance to spawn a flash drive. There are a total of six computers that I'm going to mention on this map. There are two locations that I know of that have groupings of computer towers. The first is the RBAK room. Now I know what you're thinking. This is no key money. You shouldn't need a key to get in. You're right. We don't. Going up to the third floor, go to the far western room. At the furthest western window, jump out onto the roofing. You have now entered RBAK without a key. There are two computers located here. Keep in mind that the flash drives don't spawn inside the computers. They spawn plugged into the USBs up front as shown. The second computer room is on the third floor of the Black Knight building. Going all the way up the stairs, the room is the second door down on the right. Inside you will find four computers. Now we are moving on to the map Interchange. Being one of the largest maps in Tarkov, Interchange can be quite daunting to a new player. However, once learned, Interchange can become one of the most profitable maps in the game. I'm going to be talking about a potential 27 computers that can be found. Keep in mind that I'm not showing all the potential computers on this map, just the ones that can be found in groups for easier farming. The first place we are going is Oli, the large department store on the south side of the map. It can be distinguished by its green paint scheme. Starting at the Oli sign, go directly to the rear of the store. Once you get past the wooden gazebo, take a slight left. Our first two computers are underneath the info sign. The next set of computers is in a similar location, except they are located on the opposite side of Oli. If you follow the back of the store, the second help desk is also under a large info sign. There are two computer towers here. The next location is the Oli Logistic Offices. They are located in the eastern hallways. Swing left at the red forklift and go through the doors. There are a total of three computer rooms back here. The first is located at the eastern hallway. It is the first door on the left. Keep in mind this door always spawns open, so be aware if it's already closed. There are a total of three computers in here. The next room is the same hallway, just further down on the left. Inside there are three computers within this room. The third and final room is located in the eastern hallway. Going down the hallway is the second room on the right. There are an additional three computers here. Moving on to the two security offices located to the north and south of Goshen. Starting at the store sign, go right. Follow the checkout area and go through the double doors. The room is the first door you come across. It's to the left. Inside you can find a total of five computers.
The next office is located in the northern hallway. Going through the double doors, it's the first door you come across, it's to the right. In this room, there are three computers. The final area is located in the Idea Logistic offices on the far northern end of the mall. Starting at the front of Idea, go through the double doors. Inside there are three computer towers. That concludes all computer groupings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, drop a sub if you'd like to see more of this series, and remember to have a great day. Keep farming them rubles. Carrie, out for now.